Hi, this is Jennifer. I'm going to speak to you today about my bird feeder. Now, yesterday I hung this bird feeder right here in my tree to attract more cardinals. I love cardinals and I'd like to see them more and more and it's hanging right outside my window. And lo and behold, it worked. I put seed in here that cardinals like and they've been eating it up like crazy. So I've been enjoying that. The prior to putting up this bird feeder, I would see the occasional cardinal, of course, because they live around here, but not like I do when I have this bird feeder up. So I would like to compare this bird feeder to our spiritual bird feeder. We can hang one in which we sing praises to the Lord. We openly worship the Lord, make a constant habit of it. Don't just occasionally think of him. Stop and pause several times a day, daily, morning, afternoon, night, not in a ritual kind of way, but in an enjoyment kind of way. I don't look at this bird feeder as a chore when I look out my window to see if there's any birds here. I look at it as something with anticipation and expectation. So if you hang up your spiritual bird feeder, you'll probably get a lot more experiences with God drawing near to you than you currently are. You can do this with, again, singing, worshiping, praising, speaking out loud, not just thinking it, but speaking it out loud. Um, making declarations with scripture, declarations over your life, speaking out positivity despite what your circumstances are saying. Speak out your faith. The, somehow the speaking out of it is, again, it's drawing positivity to you. So the scripture says, when we draw near to God, he draw nears to us. I know that he's a gentleman and he's not going to um, push his way into our lives. He invites us to invite him in. And so I encourage you today to get out that spiritual bird feeder and start filling it with seed so that you have more of those experiences with the Lord drawing near to you because you're drawing near to him. God bless.